Welcome back to another one guys. In this episode, we are getting a project car, but it's not for me. It's Sydney's project car. And we have Ryan here. In a CRX. He's gonna come help us pick it up. Sounds good. Obviously, not gonna be recording the guy when we get there, so I'll see you when we get back. Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> we got an EF. Yay. Let's get off the trailer and then we can go over it. It'll open. It's tall enough. Okay, you're good. Oh! Woo! Almost hit the hard top. <laughs> so we got Sydney, a 1991 Honda Civic SI. It still has all the interior, even the back seats. Missing the cover, but we got speaker pods. Also, there's no rust in the back panel. Also, there's no rust in the quarter panels. which is solid. Windshield's cracked. The hood is very beat up. There's a big divot right here, dent here. And the one main thing that sucks, sunroof is cracked. The guy said it doesn't leak, but I mean, we'll still have to get it fixed. I mean, that's disgusting. So far, what I can tell, the body looks pretty straight, straight enough for a 30 something year old car. But there is this one right here, which is no big deal. Didn't seem to warp anything. 
Just gonna uh, have to learn to do some metal work. Try to fix that. And then the roof is pretty straight too. And wait till you see in the engine bay. Sadly, it's not factory, but it's a B18A1. And if you look right there, it has a GSR transmission in it. Cable GSR transmission. If you're not into haunters or anything, you probably don't know what that is. But that is a very, very expensive transmission nowadays. So we lucked out on that. I mean, Sydney's probably not gonna be racing or anything, but if we do take this out, sell it, we can get a lot of money back for that. Other than that, there is some frame damage right there, but the headlight bucket seems good. Same on this side. So hopefully we should be able to fix that up, make it look good. The firewall's been beat in for the alternator, like always. So it does start, it idles like crap. Previous owner said it needs a water pump. All easy stuff that I can do, as long as the motor's healthy, so we need to get a compression test on it, see where the motor sits. I like to get it running, let Sydney practice driving manual, teach her, um, and then kind of figure out plans for the car, see what she wants to do with it. She wants to stay B series, go D series, all that stuff. Also, we need to get AC in this car. For sure start sourcing parts for it um, I'd like to kind of just get a list going and really do this right so another thing that is wrong with the car which I probably can't show you right now that ball joint is out of the control arm <laughs> it's still connected but that's gotta get fixed before this thing even hits the road so welcome the new project to the channel. Are you excited?